Hey guys, it's Chris Pree here with SmartRealEstateCoach.com again. Um, I'm going to put this for everyone to see. Um, I want to help you guys that are in the coaching understand the power of owner financing on a debt-free home in this case uh, with principal-only payments. I have a few very detailed ones in the membership area if you're in coaching. So I'd be generic on this, but I want to get you thinking if you're not in coaching and if you're not doing these types of deals that you can be doing them all day long. Um, the code for this, in case you ask me about it later, is 176, let me think now, uh, 176 C A R. That's the code for it, okay? Uh, source was a VA lead from a FISBO, okay? Ended up being that the home was, um, someone passed away and the home was uh, in an estate and the son was dealing with it, had it on FISBO for around 137. Aggressive comps say it's worth, you know, 140. A realtor would probably put it on for 149.9. I don't know yet what I'm going to put it on for. I'm literally getting it as we speak. I'll probably put it on for 150. Let's just call it 150. I may go 159. Uh, in fact, why not? Let, so 160. It's probably what I'm going to go on for in the rent to own market because I'm going to lock someone in for, I'm going to go into financing for four year terms. I'll probably put someone in there on three year lease purchase to be safe. Here's what we structured. Um, I always give the seller, and I have this in the membership area, I always give the seller three options. Owner financing is number one. Number two is a, a sandwich lease where I stay in it. And number three is just I'm going to sign it back. AO I call it. Assign it out. Get it? Assign it out. They picked this one, owner financing. I offered them $916 per month, principal only. Okay, $900 per month, principal only. Um, payments to start out two months after close. So I pick up two, two months there. Let's not calculate that in the, in the profit numbers I'm going to show you, but I just want to let you know that's what we did. Um, no money down, but we do pay the closing costs for them as incentive. Uh, you know, in this house, it won't be more than 1500 bucks, tax stamps and whatever. In fact, that's probably high, okay? I will buy title insurance on it because they're going to hold the first mortgage and their attorney is going to want them to have title insurance. Although, I don't think it's worth it after I look at the title and check it and I have no money in. So, there's nothing, no money in, nothing to lose. Um, I might pull an investor on this just to raise some cash so it would be worth it to have the title insurance, obviously. So, uh, do the math, guys, without me having a calculator here. 48 months times 916 is going to be the pay down off of this. Um, let's call it 900, just so I, I'm not that good at math to do the 916. 2 carried to 7, 36, uh, 43. Okay, so about 43, 7 is going to come off of that. Uh, that brings it down to uh, 37, let's call it 43. Uh, 37 from 43 is going to leave us 6 more thousand, so I don't know, 90 something, call it 90 grand. Sorry, I didn't write everything out for you guys, but you get the point. I'm going to owe about 90 at the end of the 48 months. I'm going to sell it for 160. That's $70,000 spread. Plus, I'm going to lease it out probably conservatively only $12.50. I'm, I'm being conservative. This is a two bedroom home. I'll start higher. I'll probably start at $14.50 and test the market. But realistically, I'm going to pick up $300 there, okay? So $300 a month times 48. If we go the full term, I told you I might do 36, but let's just see what that looks like. Okay, two. It's another 14 grand, okay? So 70 and 14 is 84 grand on a house that's worth a buck 50, buck 60. So I hope that helps you understand the power of the debt pay down. It gives you an opportunity to not worry about this spread too, too much. Because what if I just sold it for 137? Collected $300 a month, and at the end of the term, instead of on 137, I owed about 90. Would that be okay? That's 47 grand plus 14. Would that be an okay deal for every single person watching this? Of course it would be. So the point of this is owner financing, principal only payments are by far my favorite deal. And we take ownership of it and pay the closing costs. So we have total control over it. If the, if the, if the lease purchase buyer doesn't cash us out, we put another one in it. If it comes down to terms and we can't get it cashed out, would the owner extend it? Probably. So it gives you an idea and I hope that helps you guys. If you have other questions, just go ahead and reference that deal. Make it a great week.